of the century. When Nazi scientists began experimenting with rockets in World War II, they adopted a weapon developed centuries ago by the Chinese. Hitler's leather-coated generals were convinced that their buzz bomb would end the war quickly, as indeed it almost did. This test bomb veers crazily towards a crash. Once the Nazis found the flaws that caused such mishaps, they shot rockets by the thousands at the Allies day and night. In a nightmare failure, this giant V-2 begins to topple. At White Sands, New Mexico, the United States experimented with captured German rockets and later on with its own types. We've come a long way since these early attempts in 1952. But even as late starters in rocketry, we refused to sacrifice quality for a big noise. We had to learn to make successes out of failures like this. By 1953, the U.S. had spent hundreds of millions of dollars on its missile program. Disasters were frequent and frankly displayed, but we learned more each time. We also tried aircraft carriers as mobile launching pads, returning to the methods of 1814, when British ships hurled more primitive forms of rockets at America's Fort McHenry, whose resistance in the rocket's red glare is now part of our history. Carrier launched rockets proved successful, and we continued our search for other applications. Rockets happily had peacetime uses, too. A camera set on a rocket's tail photographed the Earth during its ascent. These beginnings led to our eventual placing of the United States' famed Explorer 1 into orbit. A rocket-type weapon continued its refinement in the jet-propelled robot bomber. This one, the Matador, was launched from an easily transported mobile platform. It was guided by radio from land bases or from an accompanying plane and was steered almost infallibly to its target. Endless research went into our rocket and guided missile program. At Alamogordo, New Mexico, the Air Force carried on extensive tests with missiles traveling at speeds unheard of before that time. Radar tracked this one, whose wobbly explosive flight showed the hazards in our pioneer program. But experiments continue. As our successes increased, we set our sights on rockets and spaceships of the future. Out of these beginnings rose the first milestones in a century dedicated to the exploration of outer space.